to my YouTube channel. Today is Sunday, which is basically international reset for the weekday. So that's exactly what we're gonna do and hopefully can give you some motivation to help set yourself up for the week. I really love to make Sundays very chill, but also very productive. So today we're gonna get some cleaning done and just make our space feel nice and fresh and ready to go for the week. I have lots of laundry to do because your girl is not good at keeping up with the folding. I just kind of let it all pile up, which is really bad. I don't know why I do that. I just kind of prioritize other things versus laundry, but it doesn't even take me that long. so. It's a work in progress. <laughs> We're gonna also head to Trader Joe's and get some groceries for the week. Do a little bit of planning. I'm excited to spend the day with you all and I hope it inspires you or motivates you. But we have a very busy day ahead of us, so let's go ahead and let's start cleaning and getting our space feeling nice and fresh. or one of my favorite scents from the Mrs. Myers cleaners. But this one is the Fresh Cut Grass scent and the only place, why well, I don't wanna, I won't focus. There we go. The only place I can find this is Ace Hardware. So if you have an Ace near you and you love the smell of fresh cut grass, go there. But even if you don't, they have like a bunch of different scents that normal stores don't have. I just wanted to share that because it does make our home smell really good and it's just a really nice cleaner. never explained this new desk situation so my old desk is actually here we moved my old desk into the living room to make room for that new desk so basically we just got a two-seater desk this I do use sometimes but this is so that Cooper and I can work side by side because he didn't have like a designated desk and we pretty much cooperate on everything that we do like we um what is the word? Why can't I not think of words right now? I don't know, but we basically, we work on everything together, so this allows us to uh, collaborate. That's the word I was thinking of. So with this desk, we can actually collaborate together and do our work. So this is my side, that's his. This desk is from Amazon, and we really like it so far. It's really like, it's wide, so we have enough space, and I feel like each side is a really 
great size so we have our own space but are also very close to each other we're still figuring out the decor that's going to go above it i don't know what we're going to do with this yet i'm thinking of I, don't, I have a couple ideas but i don't know what to do yet and we have this light switch here so i know there's electrical nonsense behind there so i just don't know what we could do but if you have any ideas please comment down below because that is definitely our next project because i really want this area to feel like a vibe i want to enjoy working in it and just have it feel really nice but these are the chairs that we got from amazon as well and they're actually really comfortable i've really been enjoying it they were super easy to put together and i i really like working in it because actually my desk before was this chair which is actually an old dining chair but i actually really liked it this blanket's on it right now but it's very hard and there's no cushion so that other chair is definitely a step up chairs under a hundred dollars and the desk was like a little over a hundred but it's totally worth it honestly in my opinion we've used it so so much and it's so nice to work side by side and it just has two slots here so they're pretty deep you can see they go all the way back there but it doesn't have drawers but these are really nice too and since it doesn't have drawers we actually got this basket here from five below and it just has our chargers our earbuds and it's just really cute and it does the job so slides back there and then put our little pins back and then those are like all of our notebooks and all our planners but yeah that's the new desk setup i can leave this desk linked in the description below if you are looking for something similar or the chairs too the chairs are really great if you're in the market for a desk chair some sort I have no idea but our Trader Joe's is like the only one within like a two or three hour radius so it gets like bombarded <laughs> I don't know what was going on today but it was even more packed than normal but luckily we were able to get everything we needed just not very many clips but that's totally okay I wanted to go ahead and show you what we got so normally our grocery trip consists of Trader Joe's and then sometimes we stop into Walmart just to get like our household things but those are pretty boring like toilet paper paper towels all that fun stuff <laughs> we usually will go to Publix as well because they have a couple things that I just love there so yeah I'll go ahead and show you guys what we got so obviously I get 
my pineapple every single week. I love my little pineapple. It makes me just feel like I'm a summer queen. And then I've been really enjoying cherries recently. They're actually really good for you and full of antioxidants and vitamins. And it's just a different fruit versus what I normally get. So I got these organic sweet cherries and they're really, really good. You can't pre-wash these, I found out. So you have to like put them in a glass Tupperware with a paper towel to soak up the moisture and keep them from molding. We got some organic blueberries for our smoothies, some organic tomatoes, then we got some organic white button mushrooms for like a chicken stir fry, a little bell pepper, and one of my favorite fruits ever, I, yeah, I think it's definitely one of my favorite fruits, are peaches. It is peach season and also my, one of my favorite seasons. So I definitely had to grab some peaches. I feel like there's just nothing better than a cold, sweet, juicy peach on a hot summer day. And it goes so well with like pineapple and banana. And I just feel like it's a very versatile fruit. So I love peaches. And they're also really good with strawberries. So I just feel like they're super versatile, loaded with vitamin C, and you just can't really go wrong with a good peach. We really love Trader Joe's salad mixes as well. So we got the barbecue and black pepper Toscano chopped salad, which Cooper loves this one. It's not one of my favorites, but it's fine. It's pretty good. This one is one of my top ones, though, for sure, and that is the Lemony Arugula Basil Salad Kit. It tastes so fresh, and I just, I don't know, I love the, um, I think it's, yeah, it's Parmesan cheese, but I don't know, it's just so fresh. It tastes so, I guess, earthy almost, but the lemony garlic dressing is just so good and then we got a bag of baby spinach for our smoothies and also to have as a side we also got some chopped romaine lettuce for a recipe that we're actually trying we've never tried before and then we're also thinking about making burgers this week so grab some of that we also grabbed a red onion the thing with buying like onion tomato and romaine lettuce is I really love to buy vegetables and fruit that can be used in multiple different meals and in different ways. I feel like it just saves you money and also gives you more variety of what you could do. So if you're not feeling like having a certain thing one day, you have other options. I would definitely say getting staple vegetables like lettuce, onions, tomatoes, and stuff like that is just really great because you can toss it on a burger, you can make a salad, you could just make like a diced tomato salad with salt and pepper, olive oil, and feta if you have it or some kind of cheese. It just makes a really refreshing little treat. So. I don't know, just definitely have to grab those every week. And then we also got this light Mexican blend fancy shredded cheese. I really like the finely shredded cheese. And I normally get their sparkling waters. They actually have really great sparkling waters. It's like a pack of eight for, I think it's $3.49. And the pineapple is probably my favorite, but I wanted to switch it up this week. And I had these at a meeting a while back and I loved them. It's the seltzer water flavored with lemon and ginger juice and it's organic. They sell them individually. I don't know if the camera will focus. So they sell them individually for 44 cents. So I already had some sparkling water left over. So I just grabbed three of those and they also have the Spindrifts, which I've never had before. I feel like I'm missing out. So I decided to grab one and I got the mango orange and it's just a sparkling water. I normally would drink like a Sprite Zero because I do count my calories and we try to keep our calories at like ideally, I like to hit 1800 and stay either there or right below it. But honestly, I try to like stay below 2000. Not having a drink that has calories in it is essential, but these are definitely a healthier option versus like a diet soda. I'm not really a big fan of diet soda. I had to really, really train myself to like Sprite Zero and it's not that bad. I actually think they changed the recipe where it tastes a little bit better, but I don't know. But these sparkling waters are definitely a better option. The thing with the diet sodas and it is I don't like the aspartum and the sucralose and just all of the really artificial flavors in there. So I feel like the sparkling water is just a healthier alternative. <laughs> we also get two bags of these baby Dutch yellow potatoes. I love these. So we will dice these up and just roast these with like avocado oil, sauce, Salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder. They just taste like homemade fries. So these are an essential for us. We are potato snobs. We love fries. We love any kind of potato in any form, which is why we get about eight of these gold potatoes. We love, oh, 
We love baked potatoes, so we definitely have to stock up on some baked gold potatoes. And I really like these because they're more buttery and more, I think their taste is more rich than a russet potato. We also picked up some baking powder and also some cocoa powder. On TikTok, I saw these recipes for a mug protein brownie, so I'm eager to see how that comes out. And these are the only two ingredients that we needed. So I don't know how that's gonna turn out, but we will find out. <laughs> and we also got some eggs. So I really love to boil eggs and snack on those throughout the week. It's just a really great low calorie, high protein option. So we also got three packs of their chicken breasts. So we have these for lunch and one is for dinner, but um, two packs of these are for our lunch. So we'll eat these with broccoli and forbidden black rice, which I've just found out about. And it's essentially black, literally black rice. And it used to be a sacred food back a long time ago, like only the emperors ate it, but it's full of antioxidants, which is why it's black. It's also called purple rice too. So yeah, we have that and chicken breasts for lunch. And then we also have one pack to have for dinner. We also get the, we get like two to three frozen meals to have during the week on a night where we have to wake up early the next day, or it's just been really busy and we want something easy. So the barbecue teriyaki chicken is one of our favorites. So we got two of those and we love a non, uh, meat option <laughs> so we get the organic roasted vegetable pizza from trader joe's and this one is so so good we do also have um, some ground beef in there too for a taco casserole which is why i got the other produce i told you about with the cheese we're also gonna have burger patties so that's actually in the fridge it was very hot outside so i tossed that in there the second i walked through the door because we don't need any of our food going bad. <laughs> we also got some bananas and also some coconut aminos because we were just about out and I love this to put like on chicken and on vegetables. And here's a couple things that we don't get at Trader Joe's. We get them at either Walmart or Publix or Harris Teeter or whatever. So these are the late July nacho cheese chips and they taste identical to Doritos and they're a way better, healthier alternative than what Doritos are. So I love these. They have a ranch version Version as well and um, there's like a jalapeno one too that one's really good I was just feeling nacho cheese this week oh I've got one more thing from Trader Joe's I love their organic medium roast coffee okay back to everything not from Trader Joe's we love these Oikos triple zero Greek yogurts they're really great breakfast on the go if you're running behind or also just a really good snack and I love yogurt bowls so this is definitely one of my favorite yogurts and then I got a pack of the strawberry <laughs> And I've never had this next thing, and it is lavash bread. So this I saw in the recipe from TikTok for the taco casserole. So this goes to the base, so we'll see how that goes. And then my favorite iced coffee is my vanilla sweet cream cold brew from Starbucks. This is so, so good. It's only 90 calories for 12 ounces, and I look forward to this every single day. It's my favorite part of the day whenever I can have this and just do my work and keep to myself and do my thing. But um, if you're looking for a really good iced coffee to keep at home, definitely give this one a try. It's not too sweet, it's not bitter, but it's like just sweet enough. And then we usually do get like the Kodiak bars as well. That's a really good um, protein snack option. It's like seven to 10 grams of protein per bar, depending on which bar. But yeah, those are definitely an essential for us as well. But I'm gonna go ahead and get all of this put away so that it does not go bad. <laughs> and then we will continue on with our Sunday reset. coffee and I feel like I can think a little bit clearer. I like to save my planning for last just because I like to work in a clean space. I like all that to be done so that once I'm finished planning, I can actually just do something to relax for the rest of the day. I think after this, I'm probably gonna go read my book or just go outside because I have been cleaning and we did go to Trader Joe's, but I just wanna be outside and enjoy the sunshine and the warmth. 
But before we do that, we must make sure we are ready for the week. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into my Notion and also my planner. This is my new planner. My other one actually ran out in June, which I really hated because I love that planner so much. I got it from Target last year and they don't make the format that it had in there anymore, which really bummed me out. But I had a smaller version of this one before and I loved it and it's really tropical and coastal, very beachy, so it felt like it was perfect. <laughs> but this is my planner. I got it from Amazon and the layouts are really nice. So it has like a schedule and then a to-do list. And then at the bottom, you can do like the top three priorities for that week. There's always a little inspirational quote. And then on the other side, there's a little notes section and then also a gratitude section. I organize all of my monthly reflections and to-do lists and things like that in Notion, but I also transfer it to this planner because I'm such a pen to paper gal. I cannot go totally digital. It's just not in my nature. So the first thing we're gonna do is do our weekly check in in Notion. I really like to do this because it helps me check in with how I'm feeling. It helps me figure out what my priority... Why can't I say that word right now? Do I need more coffee? Let's see if that fixes it. Let's try this again. It helps me see what my priorities are that week because I have a lot of things that I want to get done and a lot of things that I want to do and if I don't pick my top priorities for that week I'll get overwhelmed and not do anything so it's incredibly important for me to do this check-in and then also just go into my calendar and see what's coming up this week and just kind of get a good feel for what's going on because I like to have a plan I like to have a good idea and a good gist of what the week is going to entail so that I know how I can maximize it and just so I know what to expect as far as like my plans I like to know ahead of time what I'm gonna have to do or I'm gonna have to be which being in real estate is kind of hard to do sometimes but you can get a good idea here and there but things do pop up having a general idea helps me just stay focused because I'm not worrying about like oh my gosh what's coming up or oh no am I gonna forget this appointment or am I gonna forget to go to this place it just takes all that away. <laughs> so if you watched my June reset video, I'm actually doing the 12 week year. And if you wanna check that video out, I'll link it above here. But it's just basically showing you how I planned my 12 week year. So that's essentially what I go back to at the beginning of every week. I will link the Notion template that I use down below. It's Jenna Hong's video and she did such a great job creating this template and it's very simplistic and gets the job done, which I really like. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do our weekly check-in. I really like the three questions that she has on here just to reflect on myself and just my goals. First is how am I feeling this week? What would make this week a good one? And what am I working on this week that's gonna get me closer to my goals? I feel like those are really great fundamental questions to ask yourself so that you know essentially what you can do to push yourself closer to what it is you're trying to achieve that week. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do my little reflection and then we will check back in. So now that the weekly check-in is complete, I like to go into my content calendars on both for this channel and also for my real estate channel, which shameless plug if you are moving to charleston or are curious about charleston i do have a real estate channel all about it i'll link it down below but i have to get content planned for that and cooper and i really tackle that one together definitely check it out if you're interested but i love to take this time to kind of see what content's going to be posted that week for both of those channels and then i really like to catch up my paper planner here with our whiteboard calendar and also getting like a brain dump almost for things that i really want to get done throughout the week in that little notes section on the agenda so let's go ahead and let's get that done so that I don't forget everything that's in my head right now because that's happened before <laughs> my Sunday weekly reset routine. I love to keep my planning pretty simple and straightforward so that I can actually take some time to enjoy my Sunday before getting into Monday. But I really hope that you enjoyed and got a little bit of inspiration or motivation and it totally doesn't have to be Sunday. It can be literally any time during the week. That's just whenever I prefer to do it. But if you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.